Quick video today. If you're using a lot of formulas in Notion, this is going to be essential if you want to reuse them easily or give them to other people to reuse them or give them to your clients to reuse them or just colleagues, whatever. The point is, whenever you have formulas, it's typically kind of difficult for them to be edited by anyone who is less technical and less aware of how Notion works, which makes the sharing process kind of difficult. This video will solve that, hopefully for good forever. It's kind of easy, easy as well. If you don't know who I am, uh, I don't edit those videos, uh, not for now, but my name is Jordan Parker, and that's why you see all the awkward poses and, you know, dashes in different directions in me speaking. But my name is Jordan Parker, I run Parker Labs, and we help creators build their businesses, make money, and all that jazz. Used to be an engineer, worked in million dollar, billion dollar engineering projects with some of the biggest companies. Grew my last company of 70 people. I can understand business and Notion is kind of easy for me as well. So I'm making those videos to show you how to do things a little bit better. And, you know, obviously to help people who are curious about if they want to work with me that I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, enjoy. Anyway, so. I was writing this property. The general idea, uh, I was writing this formula, not property, sorry. The general idea is kind of simple. Uh, I wanted to show uh, relative dates. Relative dates are kind of handy because they are just easier to understand compared to normal dates. So I'm building this uh, task tracker and all that jazz. So I generated the majority of the code with Claude. This is very, very easy. Claude is better than this than ChatGPT from my testing at least. And what you do is you basically tell it what you want. Uh, this is the second iteration, so I asked it to improve a couple of things. But basically, you tell Claude what you want, and you give it uh, a bunch of documentation from Notion's website. So what I did is, as I went, go to Notion's website, save the whole thing, uh, the PDF, uploaded that to Claude, and now it understands Notion formulas. It's reasonably good. It's not perfect. You have to tweak stuff, but it's fine. So it, it manages to save you a lot of time. And especially when it comes to formatting the, the, those things, it's, you know, great. So it gave me this formula, but this formula is not perfect. Now it has several, you know, minor issues. By the way, this is Visual Studio Code. Very, very handy in case you, you have a bunch of things that you want to edit all at once. I'll show you an example with this prefix here because it's repeated, I believe, in many places. And in the cloud version, it's not even repeated everywhere. So if you look at this, you'll see that the prefix is here and I, I manually added it in, in the other spots. So yeah, so this is this is actually even worse. But yeah, so basically, uh, Visual Studio Code is very handy here because we can uh, mass edit properties, which makes life significantly easier. So. Uh, let's take this and fix a couple of things, and then we're going to add everything in a way that's very, very easy to edit, and I'll show you how to edit this from Notion itself. So, uh, first of all, this prefix here, this is the only thing that I actually want to change on this one. This prefix is repeated too many times, and this if is always going to be the output, so I can do this trick, which is called uh, multi-select, I don't know, but if you press Command, Shift, and L in Visual Studio, or Control, Shift, L in Visual Studio Code, uh, like depending on the uh, platform, you can mass select all of the instances of this. I'll just delete those because I don't want them everywhere, and I'll just add the prefix here. And this is going to work in the exact same way. Like, it's the same thing. So this if, whatever it picks, is just going to slap the prefix on top of it. Instead of me copying, having this code pasted in 17 places, and uh, the worst version that Claude generated, which has the pre prefix somewhere and some, yeah, in some places and in others, it just forgets about it, which, you know, not perfect. So we have that. Now, the second problem that you're going to have is whenever you are working with properties, those properties are going to be repeated in like a very, like in a bunch of places. Let me see where we have this uh, date. No, let's let's actually use the the raw code because this is I I obviously uh, tweak this a little bit. Okay, so let's fix the prefix again. We just remove this. We don't want it, and we add it prefix, and we add it here. Same thing. Now this should be fine. The actually let's see if it is fine. I obviously changed a bunch of things, but. Uh, yeah, so we ha we get finished is not defined. This is something that you get a lot when you uh, when you use Claude and when you use AI to generate the properties. Uh, whenever we are pasting stuff from Notion so, uh, and to Notion, so, uh, very often the properties will not work 
as expected. So here you can see we have this this thing which is which is just called finished, but Notion doesn't know what that is. So if I go to Notion and I just use this text, it doesn't do anything. It just lets me how to complete this to the actual property. So if you copy this property, this isn't the text finish, this is the property finish, they are different. So this is, you know, something that Notion understands. That's why it is, you know, great background and all that jazz. This is just the text that says finished. So different things. Uh, but if we copy this, we'll see it. I open a new window. You'll see that this says prop, and then we have uh, uh, we have circle brackets, you know, normal brackets, and then in quote we have finished. So we want this syntax, and not and not just saying finished. That will not work. So what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, must select everything and it will select all of the instances here like it, every time Claude use the word finished it's going to select it in this case i have one extra this this is this is not something that i want to use so just write something different here for a second uh now i can must select and instead of having this saying finished i'll just write prop i'll add uh brackets and then inside i'll write finished now this should work now uh, i only need to fix this and this is going to say finished properly if I go back here, I paste it, it works. Perfect. Now, there's some other stuff that's just kind of weird. First of all, this thing, it just calculates the base date and the, like, that's a very weird thing. Norton has a today function, which works just the same way, but it's simpler, easier to read and all that jazz. And I did a couple of other minor improvements. Like I calculated everything based on the minutes. So it is consistent and all that jazz, but that's not the part that you care about. The part that you care about is this property finished, which is here you can see we're using this property in many, many places. So if I had this in Notion, like this same same formula, if this was a different database, this is this was going to be an error. Every time, uh, like every place this property uh, was visible, it's not going to be found. So I'll actually emulate that. I'll show you what it looks like. If this wasn't called finished, if this was called date, and we paste this, you'll see that date is not defined. And now we have to find where date is, like where date is every single time, like a non-technical person doing that. Just imagine that, that would be very, very hard. They have to go to date and replace it with the correct date. And that's gonna take a while because it's very difficult. You know, I have to figure out where it is and it's kind of small and finicky and it's not fun. Then you can see it, like I missed one and I can't even see it. It's very, very annoying. So. What we do instead is, instead of having your property in 17 places, what you do is you add it as a, as a, as a let, as a variable. So variables, they just recently added them, very, very handy. So you do date and then we do the prop finished. So we want to use the, the finished property, and, but we want to use, the, uh, use it as an actual date. Now I did this a little bit too fast. What we have to do is we have to find this prop date and replace it with the variable that we're gonna use, which is gonna be date. And now I'm, I can return this and this should be fine now. Perfect. So now this works normally, but you can notice that the only property we have referenced, the only property that we're using is here on the very top. So that means that if I wanna change this to not use the finished date, but use only a different date and in this database, I have a bunch of them. So we can say the edited date, it is going to change and work immediately by changing one thing. So this is very easy to, to explain to other people. Go to, go the, go to this, click on, on the text, and then replace this with, you know, fill the specific date that you have from this menu above, uh, below. And they'll go, go in here, find the specific date, and it's done. And if they need a prefix, they can change the prefix to something else. I, I actually, in my own version, I added, you know, the, the, the more edited version, I added a suffix as well, but that's, you know, like if I had to give this to anyone, they would have to come here, delete this and type in whatever property they have. In my case, it's finished. Uh, they'll have to write whatever prefix they have. So done at or done, done on or done two dashes. Um, and then I can have an exclamation point, for example. And this is going to change everything very, very easily. And it's going to make this very easy to share with other people, which is generally not, uh, not the case with a lot of those formulas and a lot of those properties. But yeah, I hope this helps. If you want more like this, sub to the channel. If you want to learn how to make more money as a creator, have a news newsletter called Creator Income. Join there. So yeah, cheers.